Join me as I dive into the lesser known sides of Al Pacino and see if I can uncover some surprising facts about this legendary actor. Al Pacino is undoubtedly one of the greatest actors of our time, with a career spanning over five decades and a plethora of iconic roles that have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. But today, I want to take you on a journey to explore the lesser-known aspects of his career, to delve into the unique perspectives that have helped shape his remarkable body of work. When we think of Al Pacino, we often think of intense, gritty roles that have become synonymous with his name, the likes of Michael Corleone, Tony Montana, and Detective Will Dormer. And while these roles have undoubtedly cemented his status as a Hollywood legend, they've also led to a common perception that he's been typecast in these kinds of roles. Many of us have, at some point or another, wondered if Al Pacino has been pigeonholed in Hollywood, relegated to playing the same character type over and over again. This perception isn't entirely unfair, after all, Pacino's intense performances have become a hallmark of his career. But the question remains, has he been given a fair shot to showcase his range as an actor? Has he been limited by the very expectation that he'll always play a certain type of character? The answer, I believe, lies in his diverse filmography, a treasure trove of roles that break the mold and challenge our expectations of what Al Pacino is capable of. Take, for instance, his turn in films like Dickie Roberts, former child star or Ocean's 13, where he showcases a comedic side that's often overlooked in favor of his more dramatic roles. Or consider his work in indie films like Chinese Coffee or The Local Stigmatic, where he takes on characters that are vastly different from the ones we normally associate with him. These roles not only demonstrate his incredible range as an actor but also serve as a reminder that there's more to Al Pacino than meets the eye. One pivotal moment in his career that stands out in particular is his decision to take on the role of Ricky Roma in the 1992 film Glengarry Glen Ross. This was a departure from his usual typecast, and it was a risk that could have easily backfired. But Pacino's performance as the charismatic, smooth-talking real estate agent is nothing short of mesmerizing, and it serves as a testament to his versatility as an actor. There's a moment in the film where Roma is trying to convince a client to buy a set of real estate, and he launches into this incredible monologue that's both hilarious and intimidating at the same time. It's a masterclass in acting, and it's a performance that stayed with me long after the credits rolled. This, to me, is Al Pacino at his best, an actor unafraid to take risks, unafraid to challenge our expectations of him, and unafraid to showcase his incredible range. So what's the takeaway from all of this? Al Pacino is more than just the intense, gritty characters we've come to associate with him. He's a master of his craft, with a body of work that's both diverse and incredible. And if we look beyond the surface level, we find an actor who's constantly pushing himself to take on new challenges, to defy our expectations, and to showcase his remarkable talent. What's your favorite Al Pacino role? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to explore more iconic actors in unexpected roles, be sure to check out our next video, where we'll be diving into the surprising careers of Hollywood legends.